guys and welcome to this week's science lesson. Your I can statement is I can identify and describe the life cycle of a plant. Before we talk about the life cycle, we actually need to talk about the anatomy of a seed and particularly a bean seed because that is the plant that we are all growing together. So here we have a diagram of a seed. The outer coating all the way around here is called the seed coat. And it is that hard shell that is protecting the baby embryo inside the seed. Now this seed coat protects the seed so that when the seed is in a bag or anywhere really, it's going to be protected. Once the seed gets wet and the water penetrates that seed coat, that is when germination starts and that is when the seed begins to grow. We also have the endosperm and that is the food that's inside the seed. So before the, the plant has leaves that are formed, it has no way of making food. So it will continue to feed off the endosperm until it is mature enough and has its own leaves to make its own food or through photosynthesis. We have the embryo here, that's the baby plant inside the seed. That is what the seed coat is protecting. We have the root, that's the first thing that's going to pop out and grow down from the seed. And then we have the shoots, that's the stem where the leaves are as well, that's going to grow up. So let's take a look at the life cycle. So we have this picture here that shows how the bean seed actually grows when it's underground. And I have this time lapse video here that I'm actually going to play while I'm talking. So you can see how the seed starts to grow. So when the seed gets wet and that seed coat is penetrated, that's when the root starts growing down. And roots inherently know which way to grow. It is so cool. It doesn't matter which way you plant the seed, the roots will always know to start growing down. And they're growing down to create that anchor and to start collecting that nutrients for the soil. And as you can see, roots need a lot of space because they start to grow outwards and they don't want to get entangled in any of the other plants. And then the shoot starts to grow up. And as, as you can see right here, we have that seed coat that's still protecting the baby seed. And now the plant is going out and the leaves are actually bursting out of that seed coat and it's now time for photosynthesis. And that is now when the plant is able to make its own food and it's no longer feeding off the embryo. The plant is going to continue to keep growing up and keep maturing and growing bigger and stronger. And if we go ahead and take a look at the diagram over here, it also shows how this, the plant is actually leaving the seed coat. So your bean plant is going to keep growing up and then eventually, this video doesn't show it, it will start to produce flowers, which then will start producing the fruit, which are the beans. And like we talked about before, so you can pick the beans and eat them, or if you let them dry out, they will actually change into a darker color and they will harden, which then can be planted back into the soil and then start a whole new life cycle of a brand new plant. Pretty cool. So. What we can also look at as well is a little experiment here where you can actually grow your extra bean seeds that you guys have in your little gardening kits without soil so you can actually see the different stages of the bean plant's growth. So all you need is a bean seed, some paper towel, some water, a glass jar or a Ziploc bag. So you're going, if you want to use a glass jar, you can do it this way and all the seed needs is to get wet so that seed coat can get penetrated by that water and then you're able to actually see all the different stages of your bean seed. Now, your plant will not be healthy and strong if it stays inside the Ziploc bag or the glass jar because there's no nutrients from the soil that it's collecting. If you are going to do this experiment, you will eventually need to transplant it into some soil if you would like to have a really strong, healthy bean plant that produces some fruit for you. So that's awesome. I want you guys to head into Google Classroom and you are going to complete the life cycle of a plant Jamboard. Good luck.